Boston's feeling really good as they break for the summer. Good. All right. Uh, so Gus Bradley loves Quiddy Pay. He does. He loves him some Quiddy Pay love already. That. What's going on in camp with Quiddy Pay? Sorry, so, mini mini camp. So so Quiddy Pay with uh, it's it's kind of interesting. So Unique and uh he he hasn't really he hasn't been present through OTAs. He did show up and was there for mini camp, which is great, but. In the offseason, Ngakwe kind of does his own thing. He does his own training down in South Florida, and the Colts were on board with this. They they stayed in, in constant communication with him. There, there was no problems there. But since Ngakwe wasn't there, and really Ngakwe doesn't need to be there as far as the install of the new defense because he's basically been with Gus Bradley his entire career. But Quiddy Pay hasn't. And, and with Ngakwe not there, it allows Quiddy Pay to play both the Leo spot and get reps there and the big end spot because at the Leo spot over on the on the left side or on the right side, excuse me, that's where Ngakwe is going to mostly play, lined up over the left tackle. The big end spot is going to be where Quiddy Pay plays most of the time over the right tackle. But there are going to be times where Quiddy Pay has to go on over to the left side. So Gus Bradley really likes the the power rusher in Quiddy Pay. How he's a student of the game. How he's a guy that that you don't have to tell things to twice. He picks up things very quickly. But that time that Ngakwe has been away, it's allowed Quiddy Pay to really get reps at both of those spots. So in case he does need to fill in over on the left uh, on the right side, if if Ngakwe needs to take a break or Ngakwe goes down with injury, Quiddy Pay can move from from the big end over to the Leo spot, and and, and it's going to be a seamless transition. So Gus Bradley spoke to the media yesterday and had a lot of lot to say about Quiddy Pay all good things and and I think I think this is setting up for Quiddy Pay to have a really really nice second season for the Colts I'm really hopeful for that uh, especially like last season we were talking all this stuff about like and, and yeah he's a rookie but you know we're like give him time well he didn't have very many sacks in college well it's a different scheme college is harder to get sacks and then this what was that guy a senior out of michigan this this year in the draft I, f- 10 sacks something like that last year i was like oh well that doesn't look good for our, our argument for quitty last year but i do think he's going to find home uh a good chunk of times uh this year especially in a defense that's going to give him that opportunity that's that's the key here is the the defense and especially specifically on the defensive line, it's going to be totally different than it was last year with Matt Eberflus. Matt Eberflus wanted his defensive line and his defensive linemen to do more read react where where they would read to see if it was a run or a pass and then go get the quarterback. In Gus Bradley's system, in Nate Ollie, who's the defensive line coach now for the Colts, it's all about the attacking front. They want these guys pinning their ears back. They're going to have Ngakwe and, and Pay out in a wide nine stance outside of the tackles rather than inside, and they're going to want them to go out and get the quarterback. They put Ngakwe over in that Leo spot, which is for the, the faster, explosive uh, defensive ends, more of the, I wouldn't say finesse, but just more of the speed rusher. And the big end is more of the power rusher. And that's what Quiddy yeah. Pay is. He's You would look at Quiddy Pay and it's like, oh, that guy is, is a speed rusher a la Dwight Freeney. No, right. he's more of a power rusher. And then the big end spot really fits Quiddy Pay's uh, skill set much better. And him just being to pin his ears back, not having to worry about anything else besides going and get the quarterback. That's, I think, is going to be a big difference you're going to see this year. Short answer here, Andrew. If that's the case, 